This is James Fox with another video tutorial for QuickBooks Pro 2013. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create and add a new inventory item in QuickBooks Pro 2013. Now, as a reminder, an inventory item is an item that will be held by your company for the purpose of selling it to a customer at a later date. Now, when you create this item, you are going to keep track of the cost to your company and the sale price to your customers, as well as the item name and a description and a couple of other things. Now, to add a new inventory item, click the Lists menu and then click Item Lists. Now, at the bottom left, click the item button, then click new. You can also press Control N on your keyboard. And that's going to bring you to the new item screen. Now in the drop box here, click inventory part. Now after you click inventory part, you're going to see several fields appear. Now we're going to enter some information into the majority of these fields. The first one is going to be the item name slash number. If your company keeps track of the items by naming them, enter a name here, or if your company keeps track of the items according to numbers, enter in the item number here. For my fictitious company, Joe's Landscaping, inventory items will be tracked according to the item name. And the new item name that I'm going to create for this example will be Red Roses. I'm not going to create a sub-item. I'll show you how to do that in the next lesson. Now, if the manufacturer has a part number, enter it in the manufacturer's part number field. So I'm just going to make up any part number here. Okay, now we're going to enter in a description on purchase transactions. Now in this field, you can create a description. And whatever you type into this field will automatically appear on any bill that you create when you purchase this particular item from the vendor of your choice. And I'm going to show you how to create a bill for the inventory items in Lesson 8-6. For now, I'm going to enter in a short description for purchase transactions. Now we come to the description on sales transaction. This is just like the previous field, whereas anything you enter into this field is going to automatically appear on the invoice during a sales transaction. So I'm going to enter a short description for sales transactions. Okay, now we come to two very important fields, cost and sales price. Now the cost is what your company is going to pay to the vendor per item. So for my fictitious company, Joe's Landscaping, it's going to cost $25 for a dozen of red roses. Now in the sales price field, that's where you're going to enter the amount that you'll be selling the item for. And Joe's Landscaping is going to be selling a dozen of red roses for $50. Now let's take a look at three very important fields. And they are the cost of goods sold account, the income account, and the asset account. Now inventory is an asset. And when you purchase inventory from your vendor, the inventory account must be increased. For example, when Joe's Landscaping purchases red roses from its vendor, the inventory account is going to be increased by $25 because that's the cost of the red roses to Joe's Landscaping. Okay, now let's turn our attention to the cost of goods sold account field and the income account field. Now, when Joe's Landscaping makes a sale for the Red Roses, their income increases by $50. And at the exact same time, they're going to expense the Red Roses by $25. So the net profit in that small example is $25 because they sold the Red Roses for $50 and at the same time Joe's Landscaping must recognize the cost of the Red Roses which in this example is $25. So we have an income account that must be used and an expense account that must be used also. Now I have already created an income account called Flowers. If you do not know how to create these accounts, refer to Lesson 1-8. So I'm going to select my income account called Flowers. And the expense account that is normally used in pretty much all of these situations is called Cost of Goods Sold. This account is a default account already 
added in QuickBooks Pro 2013. Now in the preferred vendor field, you can choose a vendor if you purchase items from this vendor on a regular basis. Now if you want QuickBooks to notify you when you're running low on inventory, you can enter in an amount so that QuickBooks will remind you to place an order for more of this particular inventory item. So for example, if I want QuickBooks to remind Joe's Landscaping when there's only 10 items left of Red Roses, I'll type in the number 10 in the reorder point and Joe's Landscaping will be alerted when that reorder point amount is reached. Now when you create a new inventory item, if you have any inventory items on hand, you can enter in that amount in the on hand field. If you enter in a number in the on hand field, the total value field will automatically be calculated and that's a simple multiplication formula which is the on hand field times the cost field. When you are done, simply click OK on the right to save your changes. After you click OK, QuickBooks is going to bring you back to the item list window and you'll see the inventory item that you just created. And that's how you create and add a new inventory item in QuickBooks Pro 2013. If you have any questions, please send me an email. Once again, my name is James Fox and I'll see you next time.